Hello YouTube, uh, we're going to do a review here of this uh, small digital multimeter. It's uh, 100 amp, 100 volt, I think it's like 6 volts, 4.6 volts to 100 volts. Um, and it comes with a shunt for the 100 amp. And the uh, vendor is, or the manufacturer is Y-E-E-C-O, Yeco, I think. Um, I went uh, I went to the website and uh, at Amazon and I seen this and... Uh, most of the reviewers, this is the 100 amp shunt, 75 millivolt, it's marked really well. Um, so there's the shunt, and then let's take a look at the meter. It comes with a card um, with this website. Okay, see that? Okay, and here's the box, the meter. Okay, and this is very similar to the lathe project meter uh, where, you know, it's just a box, kind of like for mounting. Okay, do you guys ever seen that video, the guy that like really nicely lays out all the packaging, it tells you what kind of plastic it is. Um, here's the digital meter, it's got a little schematic on the back, how to wire it up. In Amazon, he says, don't wire it up backwards. <laughs> Good advice. It's got a little coating. There's a button, but it's recessed. You need something to press it in. Um, and then here's some instructions. Let's just go ahead and glance through these real quick. Let me describe the box. Let's see if there's anything in English here. Yep, here we go. All right, so it does come with some instructions. Um, I'm gonna wire it up, um, and I'll show you how I wire it up, and I'm gonna put a load on it, and uh, just to see uh, what it does. Uh, testing this meter to see if it'll work in the RV for the house battery, so I can monitor the voltage on a house battery and uh, the amps, the current, current uh, discharge. So I'll be back in just a minute. Um, I'm going to do, get some wiring together and I'll get back with you. Okay, I'm just tending these uh, lead, lead ins right now. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is wire up the shunt according to the instructions. Alright. Got two leads here, and if I look on the back here, it says uh, the shunt goes to these two leads. So, and here's the shunt here. So I will go ahead and take two of these 10 leads, put one here. Now when I wire this permanently, you know, I'll put the correct connectors on here, but just for this sake of the testing, if you will, I'm just going to be doing this, unless it doesn't let me do it. All right, in case I'm having difficulties, I'll be back with you. So as you can see, I broke down and used the correct connectors now for the uh, wiring this up. It says that the two shunt connectors go here and here. My end frame barely, and I got big, big fat hand in the way. So here, there's in there. Okay, that's wired up. All right, pull that. Get this out of the way. Okay. Uh, I'll come back in just a second with the rest of the wiring. Okay, now I'm just going to demonstrate the meter. I'm not going to put a load on it, just going to light it up. Um, I've got the shunt and I've got the wires. I put the red uh, on the positive and the black, you know, just left that black. And uh, let's come over here to the power supply and 
I said 13.2 volts, so that's about where the battery will sit most of the time. And we'll go ahead and uh, hook these leads up to there and uh, see what we can see here. Okay, we're hooking the, the negative here and the positive. Okay, and it's showing 13.16 volts where the regulated power supply says 13.2. Let's just uh, change it around a little bit. 9.4. Uh, this is obviously got two digits and the uh, regulator has less. Let's see here. Let's crank this sucker up. Um, 18.6 or 18.56, uh, the blue black light. And I'll take off this um, this protective display here so we can get a good look at it. There we go. So it's got a blue black light, a blue backlight. Okay. Alright. And then something like I can see in the camera, I see the blue overcast here and here. This thing's not really bright, it just has to do something with a, a camera or something recording blue. Uh, no, it doesn't look like that in real life. Laser beams coming out. Um, it looks pretty plain. Um, okay, so uh, reading about this, it has a watt hour meter, uh, which is resettable. And um, so it's got a current amp usage, uh, current um, watt usage, and it also has a watt hour use. This is a DC meter, it's not an AC meter. Um, and it goes, like I said, uh, up to 100, it says test range, zero to 100 amps. Um, and then the format changes to watt hour or kilowatt hour. All right, we're gonna set up, a, gonna go ahead and finish doing the wiring and then we're gonna put a load on it. Okay, so now I got my, uh, just using alligator clips I've got it um, all wired up and then these are my leads here my power leads I'm currently supplying 13.57 volts um, and uh, I crank this down a little bit Ooh, let's see here ah hence you need at least six volts to power the meter that's why the starting is six okay starting at six volts um, I got this little motor here and I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, tie this little motor up here and see what it runs at 6 volts. Okay, so uh, you can't, maybe you can't see it spinning down here, I don't know. Um, it's spinning and then you can see the uh, meter here registering at 0 0.09 amp at 6.3 volts and uh, the 9 amp is the same, uh, showing 0.5 watts. Um, so let's go ahead and crank up the voltage. So um, at 13.6, 13.55, uh, it shows the current as being a um, 0.11 amps and um, the watts being 1.4 watts and then you'd have to run this for a while to get watt hour. So that, that is a low amperage motor and now I got a high amperage motor I'm going to put on here and demonstrate for you as well. So I'll crank the voltage down to about six. Okay. And we'll disconnect the power leads here. And the next motor I have, this is an RC car motor. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up here. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that uh, killed the meter. Uh, give me, it just killed it. I'm sorry, it didn't kill it. The voltage went below the specified required voltage. 
so um, it probably is more amps than my power supply can provide. Let me reset and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I have another motor load demonstration. Uh, the good thing about this motor uh, is it doesn't draw over 3 amps until the voltage gets higher. With the other motor that I had just tried, uh, the, um, the uh, current was over 3 amps and it would overload my power supply. So anyway, this is just a demonstration here. I'll go ahead and show you. We'll bring the uh, voltage up. And we won't exceed three amps, which is the uh, which is the uh, max the power supply can put out. All right, and I'm over voltaging that engine. The way that I'm doing, I mean, the way that this will be in uh, permanently, uh, I won't have this problem. But when the voltage goes below six volts, obviously the screen goes out. This is going to be permanently in line, uh, connected to the 12 volt power, 12 volt on the RV. All right, so I plug this in. The way to do is jack the voltage up on the power supply until it at least reaches six volts. There we go. Now the um, now the uh, meter starts, and it's showing that it's drawing 2.93 amps. Uh, it's using 18.6 watts, and uh, as you can see here, I've calculated one watt hour already at 638 volts. You press this one time, and it'll turn the backlight on and off. Now, with a long press and hold, you can get, um, there's a couple settings. I'm not going to go into big detail, but uh, one of them is you long press, and you'll get the clear button. Let's go ahead and do that. This is set clear. Now you can see that the energy is flashing. Hold it and it press it short press, it clears the watt usage. Now the other one is the uh, voltage setting. Um, voltage alarm threshold. Um, I'm not quite sure what that will do. I think what happens is you set a voltage that you want and then if it's above or below that, um, the display will flash. And I think the way that I recognize that is if you bring the voltage down low, below, right at the point, um, I can't reach it right now. There. See how it's flashing the voltage? That's the low voltage alarm set. So you can set which voltage is your low voltage, which will cause it to flash. Uh, so if I bring, that's, you know, 5.9, what? If I crank the volts up to about 6 something, it will stop doing that. There you go. I've got one load test more I'm going to show you. Uh, um, let me go get my, uh, I'm going to charge a battery. So, uh, and uh, it requires a very specific voltage. And uh, I want to just show you that. So, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, here's the last thing I'm going to demonstrate. I uh, was given to this, somebody, you know, knows I'm into things. And uh, uh, these are the Black & Dust, or uh, Black Black & Decker Dust Busters, 14.4, uh, and it runs on, um, I don't know, rechargeable, I don't know, they're not lithium, they're, I don't know if they're, some type of rechargeable battery, NICADs probably, nickel cadmiums, and inevitably they go out, and then if you want to buy it, it, the battery pack, it costs as much as the whole dumb thing. So what I did was, um, I took the uh, nickel cadmium out and I put some laptop batteries in there. And um, so now this thing runs at uh, 16.8 volts instead of 14.4, and I've had it for about a year. It works fine. Uh, the only unusual thing is the charging. You got to charge it in a little bit different way. So 16.8, that's four um, lithium cells. I don't balance charge them. I'm not having any problems. Whatever. I've got plenty of batteries. If they go die dead, I'll replace them. So anyway, I've got the outside lugs here, and I'll just hook these up. And I've already got the meter set at 16. Uh, point 0.8 and it usually charges between you know, maybe two depending on how this charges Maybe it charges at two amps then tapers off um, One and a half amp and then you leave it overnight and it literally goes to zero amps. So we'll hook it up And uh, So it's charging at uh, 2.63 amps, which is uh, pretty high. So it must be really discharged Um and, oh, I don't, I'm not showing the meter, the main thing here. Sorry. Uh, 
this is why you should have a filmographer. Um, all right, so sorry, 2.58 amps, 42.6 watts, 16.58 volts. Um, curious is my power supply is outputting 16.8. So which one's more accurate here? You know, I don't know. Uh, but I do know that um, that you watch the amperes here charging those batteries and it will just drop, slowly drop. And then this voltage will, will go up to 16.8. And this thing will be fully charged and it'll get run a good 20, 30 minutes. And again, I just leave it in the RV now because we need to uh, clean up a quick mess. There it is. All right, guys. So this is going to be, this is going to conclude the review of the meter. And I kind of like it. Um, I am going to put it in uh, to check the, um, to watch the uh, voltage on the house batteries um, to get precise. You know, I think it's 17, this thing retails for like 17 bucks. Um, I will do a follow up. Um, once I have this installed, might even do a segment on installing it. Uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and do a demonstration real quick. Uh, I hope I didn't overdo this on time. Ooh, 16 minutes. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, have a great day, YouTube.